first of all, I've seen Woman King and I am blown away. So I just want to say thank you for this masterpiece. Um, I have a couple of questions that I want to ask, but before we start, do you mind if we play a quick game? Sure. I'm so bad at games, but go ahead. (laughs) This one, you can't lose at it. I will will say that. It's a word association game and you just say the first thing that comes into your mind. I'm going to throw out a couple of words and a couple of phrases. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay. First one. Women. Beauty. South Africa. Home. Mm. King. Divine. Power. Necessary. Warrior. Me. (laughs) I love that. Men. Women. Confidence. (laughs) confidence love and lastly the woman king (laughs) i told you i was bad at this game gift gift love it thank you so much my brain i had to click (laughs) my brain off no there you go no pressure game, just real easy. Um, because I left the screening of The Woman King and these were the words that like resonated with me. So I was like, I just wanna, I wanna know what the queen thinks. I wanna know what Queen Viola thinks. So <laughs> thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> um, first and foremost, your body of work is insane as it stands. Uh-huh. So to add this already great project, I want to know what drew you to the Woman King and the Agoji Warriors. What was it that was like, this is the next thing that I need to do? Well, you saw the movie. So you saw why it's the next thing. It was sort of an amalgamation of everything that I had always dreamed acting was in one script. It was the action, it was the dialect, it was the landscape, it was the absolute fully realized human beings that go on a journey. And it's a journey that mirrors so many women's journeys. It was a chance to do something that is so epic Mm -hmm. and emotional and that could shift the, uh, what, how we see black women in a global market that literally appealed to me and fit right into our mandate at Juvie Productions, me and my husband's production company. That's the thing that resonated with me. I felt it the second I watched it. And as I left, I think there's this feeling of like, I can conquer and I can dominate because no one can tell me that I can't after watching the movie. Um, I wanted to know with the Agoji women, they are strong, they are powerful. Mm -hmm. We see certain traits that uh, you are looking for to be a part of this this army. Um, I want to know what are some of the traits that you look for for the women that you surround yourself with that are part of your tribe and your army? Oh man, I'm gonna tell you what is number one. Okay. (laughs) I want women who love me. Mm. Yes. I I can't say it enough. I say it to my daughter, you surround yourself with people who love you. So when you're down and out, and even when you don't love yourself, they are there holding you up. Absolutely. Mm. I look for women who tell the truth who are brave with their truth and their inner truth, that are not afraid to show their vulnerability, that are not afraid to literally share and own their stories. I don't like people who don't own their stories. I don't feel safe in that space. I feel like it is a space that I will be shamed. Um, I like women who literally are comfortable with who they are. Mm. I do. I mean, you don't have to be fully there, yeah. but I like people <laughs> who are on that path. Uh, uh-huh. I like them. Uh-huh. And you know what? I also like women who are funny. I like funny. I funny, like you know, you. goofy. I <laughs> accept. <laughs> mm. I want to know, do you think that this movie is a feminist film? 
You know, people put labels on films all the time. And I, I know that that's what social media does. It's a feminist film. It's an action film. It's got to be this film. Mm. Um, I just always just saw it as a film with mm. women in it. Mm. Um, I don't think that, I mean, if, if, if people want to see it like that, that's great. I have a feeling like feminist has become a dirty word. Um, I see it as a female driven narrative. Mm. I do. Um, and I see it as a very, very, very human story mm. told through the scope and the eyes of the Algoji warriors. Mm. Cause what you find is the story of Izogi who wants to matter. Mm. Mm. The story of Nawi finding her voice, the story of Naniska coming face to face with herself and her demons and healing from sexual trauma. The story of Amenza just being one on one with God um, and the Vodun. I, I see it as a fully realized human story. But there's this conversation that happens about strength and vulnerability. Um, mm -hmm. And I want to know, was that something that you found in these new roles that this idea of strength and vulnerability? Strength is vulnerability. Mm -hmm. They're one and the same. You know, it's like people say, if you shut out the dark, you're also shutting out the light. Nothing can come in or nothing can come out. Mm -hmm. I think that there is no way to embrace love and connection with self or other people there's no way to grow and transform your life. There's no way to fall in love mm, mm, mm. if you don't have vulnerability, if you're not brave enough to show up in spaces and be seen and make yourself known. Brene Brown talks a lot about that. Um, so I'm always looking for for that in any role that I do. That part where we wear the mask as soon as we walk out the door so that we can get through our day. And then that part of ourselves that just go, you know, when we take the mask off and we, we dare to show what is really just that we're fighting and wrestling with. Mm. When we have that bravery of just doing that, I see it as something that's very human. And so I, yes, I look for that in characters also.